versus knowing the difference or converting between the two. So in this equation, we have y times a times log base b of x. And again, I'm just going to show you just a general example. Let's do y equals log base 2 of x. All right. And if you guys can see, if you, um, if you remember your conversion between exponential and logarithmic, basically what this is saying is uh, b raised to what power gives you y? So this is um, basically saying 2 raised to what power is going to give us x. That's what that logarithm says. And we'll practice more of this later. But the important thing that I want to understand here, or for you guys to understand, is if we have x, y, for exponential, we, there is really no, re, there is no problem with plugging in anything in for x, right? There is no problem with plugging anything x. And you guys can see the domain is negative infinity to infinity. However, the logarithmic function has a little issue, because what this is saying is 2 raised to what power gives you x? Well, um, the issue is if x is negative, like think of a number where this is going to give you any kind of negative number. So. What the problem is, there is no number that exists where you can take 2, raise it to a power that's going to give you any negative number. It doesn't matter if it's negative 2. Try to think of numbers. You could think of 1. Nope, that gives you positive 2. Think of negative 1. Nope, that gives you 1 half. Right? So there is, it's, not, it's impossible in our number system to be able to choose a real number x that's going to, make, that's going to give you a negative number. OK? So and we'll end. I guess I could show you on Desmos. Actually, we'll, we'll break out Desmos. So anyways, when the, you're looking at this, the, um, we cannot choose any negative numbers. So we're just going to choose 0, 2, and 4. And I'll explain to you again why I'm choosing those, these values. So again, when we're looking at to identify the table, basically this is saying log base 2 raises 0. So 2, what this is asking is, log base 2, actually let's do it over here, y equals log base 2 of 0. Again, the logarithm, what it's stating is 2 raised to what number is going to give you this y? So 2 raised to what number is going to give you 0? And that answer is, I'm sorry, 2 raised to what number gives you 0? We don't have that. That's undefined. Sorry, that's supposed to be 1. 2 raised to what value is going to give you 1? And I'll explain. We'll look at this in a second. That's 0. y equals log base 2 of 2. Again, the logarithm is asking 2 raised to what power gives you 2? 1. And then last but not least, log base 2 of 4. 2 raised to what power gives you 4? 2. So if we were to graph this, it's impossible, again, if you guys look at that, to have 2 raised to a number to give you 0. Think about that. What could you raise? What could you raise to a power to give you zero? Nothing. I mean, two raised to the zero power is one. Yep. So we're kind of at a loss here. So that's why that's undefined, which you guys will see in a second. So if we go to one comma zero, if we go to two comma one, one two, comma one, and then we go to four comma two, one two three four, up two, and what you'll see. is you're going to have um, a function that's going to look like this. So therefore, our domain is from 0 to infinity. And our range is from negative infinity to infinity. OK. Ooh, 100 grand. I didn't know that. 